गुड इवनिंग वेलकम बैक टू इन द खुड दिस इज़ एटीन मे ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी थ्री सिक्स फिफ्टी फोर पी एम एंड एंड टू डेज डॉक्यूमेंटेशन इज एक्चुअली स्ट्रेट फॉर्वर्ड दर इज़ एन एनी थिंग मच दर हैव टू डॉक्यूमेंट दिस लाइट इज एक्चुअली कमिंग राइट इन माई फेस स्विच फ्रॉम दिस आई कैन लाइक लुक इन द कैमरा एंड नॉट हैव लाइट राइट इन माई फेस yesterday i did not document anything because it literally felt like there is no reason to why is it that i'm pressing g1 is it because of these one of my auto hot key scripts were messing things up so yesterday there was literally nothing to document the whole day i just worked on dad's work so like an overall conclusion of the past two days of the five day leave that i had got three day leave two days is a weekend which just goes up like this in a click so not even considering that The first two days went away in figuring out dad's work. Like the more than half of the month, like first twenty days is almost sorted. Like a few things here and there are mis- uh, left to be done, but it's pretty straightforward. I've basically done everything that needs to be done. Just have to upload. Uh, so that is very good. And if I tell you what the timeline was like, so yesterday woke up at four thirty. Post the part session, there was some lower back pain plus headache. So I slept till seven. then permi took snowy down so i continued to sleep and i woke up at 12 one of those balance out sessions from the past few days of exhaustion so this happens after uh like a fixed number of days because i continue this very weird sort of schedule of sleeping for 3 4 hours in the night and then you know hustling till night very late so one of these days i just end up sleeping a little more than normal so that was yesterday then after waking up i Add these three things to figure out. Nineteen episodes for show, one making plus uploading, which is done. Ten episodes of uploading, and here seven episodes of uploading, which is something I did today. Now there's a bit of a little bit of timeline, and the same thing continued for today. One seventy-seven. Look about four fifteen. Include the practice staying at home. I'll come to this post. Uh, whatever I have to discuss, and then P two Design Academy course alive is really worth considering to buy. So completed. This is again a timeline. Small things I've learned inside Windows Explorer. You can use Alt. Uh, let me open. Uh, let's say this one. So if I do Alt Left Arrow and Right Arrow, it allows you to go inside folders and outside folders. Seven for whatever that's worth. Same is for up and down. Okay. Oh, working is again full. <sighs> some <laughs> working keeps getting full for some reason. Okay. What what was it that I was mentioning here, including the practice of staying at home during the part session, also trying to point back to it as much as possible during the day. This is something that I want to make a dedicated video on, which is because uh, in the past, overall, this has been like the biggest uh, sort of realization I have had in terms of my spirit, my own spiritual inquiry. So I have to make a dedicated video on what really being at home means, um, especially in my context in this. this like little life that i've lived so i'll do that probably on sunday or some other day where i can make just one video for it other than that there is also one thing that i want to document is uh, my mindset right now it's kind of like uh, two things one is it's very rejuvenating in one way because uh, the constant input that is needed for the full time job is taken out so nobody is asking me things or asking for videos or deliverables and i don't have to figure or manage anything for the team as well which is good so there is that level of peace which comes from there but the other side of the same coin is that the ego uh fills in with fear for some reason there's going to be a point where nobody is going to no more need anything from you and of course that's the nature of the mind to like exaggerate and uh, make things big which aren't really big again it's already 7 o'clock so i'm just going to after this rush to the gym go early because today's thursday just get my core workout done come back early and start working a little bit on the blender stuff cuz uh, these three days from tomorrow day after and sunday is all i'm going to get to figure out a lot of things actually one is the entire 3d character animation and one is uh, the building video so tomorrow i'm going to start with the character animation cuz that's fun and i want to follow along two videos from p2 design one is where he teaches how you can optimize the rig for real time playback and animation in the viewport where instead of using an armature modifier on the whole high poly mesh you divide you break it into a proxy mesh basically which is low poly 
or even if it's not low poly the key here is instead of using an armature modifier you break your mesh into smaller meshes according to the deformation bones and then you parent those individual mesh pieces to the armature bones themselves and uh, that is something that i want to try and see if it really helps in the viewport performance and uh, because i really don't like the lag that comes through and then you have to play it at frame dropping in order to get a real sense of how time is moving and how things are moving you can't play every single frame that's the thing with optimization in render that's one thing and second thing is where he in the second video he shows how you can inside the viewport you can you can view the mesh as if it was in the rendered uh, view so using uh, baking and stuff like those i don't know if that will be very useful but that's something that i want to try and then post that i will continue blocking out the scene and taking the animations further as far as i can that's that's pretty much it that that's all that i had to document thanks so much for being in the quid i will catch you tomorrow peace